Hey guys, Steve here from the Cook Family Homestead and today we got our new incubator and we're gonna do a video. This will be kind of a series and we'll show you because it takes about 21 days so we'll kind of periodically check in but I wanted to show you the incubator real quick and show you kind of if you want to order these on eBay they're about $60 and they're actually they're pretty nice incubator but I'm gonna show you a little bit how they work so if you do get one how to set it up so I'll do that real quick so um, if you can see here all these buttons these are in Celsius so it's at 38 38 degrees is about where you want to have it set that's a hundred degrees Fahrenheit and you can set that using these buttons I'll show you that real quick humidity is at 60 I have it set at 50 to go the alarm to go off if it hits below 50 it's probably gonna hover around 60 and then if you see this clock here we've been uh, we've been it turns the eggs every two hours now I've had it on for 25 minutes because of your test it all out when you start it so but I'm gonna reset it this button here will reset everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it so you can see the inside and then I'll hit that reset button so you can see how this this holds 48 eggs and I'll show you what he does. I'll reset this so you can see how it turns. It turns, it, it rocks them. It goes 45 degree it, and then it will rock them back. So let's reset that. And you can kind of see it turn there. And that's what it will do every two hours. And it's beeping because I have the top off. And I'll just hit a button. Any green button will shut that alarm off. So that's what it does every two hours. And then it starts your clock again here and you see because the humidity dropped below 50 it started beeping uh, so once I put the cover back on it will it will it will start going up but that's your countdown this is your days so after one day obviously it will say one and after two two all the way up to how long you're going usually your eggs will start hatching anywhere between you know 18 to 21 days sometimes maybe a little bit longer but I wanted to show you inside here one more time kind of show you what else is in here there are, let's take this off. This here, that rocks pops right out. I will take that out because I want to show you in here real quick. And why, how this gets humidity is under this, there's some water channels. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And those you fill up with water. And then you gotta keep it, usually I think it said, you usually got to put water every three or four days in there. So uh, just that's what it says. I haven't tried it out, obviously, but that's what the uh, instructions say. It's usually going to run out every. If you fill those all six of those up, it's going to fill, run out every four days or so. So we'll get that heated back up, and then we'll put the eggs in. If you can see right here, these eggs. What are those? Easter eggs. Easter eggers. Some friends of ours that have those kind of chickens. We wanted some of those. We have some fertilized eggs as well, but we wanted to try to do these Easter eggers. So they were um, gracious enough to give us some fertilized Easter eggers, and we're going to put those in tonight and uh, start getting them ready to go. So let's get them in. All right. We're putting the eggs in, and you always want to put the the bottom, the the rounded bottom down, the the bigger edge down. Hi y'all. And and uh, um, some of these have hay on them, so we're taking them off and put the uh, smaller we're edge. Putting up. the egg in. Yeah, these are my helpers. <laughs> All right. And then the final one, so we have, let's count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we got 18 eggs, so let's get them started. And actually I'm gonna reset that so you can see these tilt with the eggs in it. So let's start it all over again, ready? We'll reset everything. There, so you see them turning. That's what the eggs will do. <laughs> so that's what they'll do every two hours. The eggs are doing the rocks them. So let's put the cover back on. And you hear that beeping? That's just again, because it's under 
50%, but once that heats up, it will be okay. And then our countdown starts. And the other thing in about five days, we're gonna do what's called candling them. And we'll take the eggs out and we'll know which ones are 100% fertilized. So we'll do that in about five days and we'll, we'll video that. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna show you how to candle an egg. And what you need is just like a flashlight, a decently bright one like that. And then we're gonna go here and I'll show you the difference. We've candled most of these eggs already, but I'll show you what they look like. You can shut the light off so we can see it. There, so we'll just, uh, whoops, I hit the button again on that. <laughs> so we'll take one out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the egg on top and then kind of cover it like this. And if you can see in there, you can see something in there growing. That's how you know there's a baby chicken there growing. And that one is definitely fertilized and growing. And I'll take a brown one out. So you can see, you can even see in a brown one too. Oh, wow. Yep, you can see in there. There's a baby chick growing in there. Mommy, mommy. So that's how you tell if it's a fertilized egg. But we do have one in here that wasn't fertilized. And I'll show you the difference in that. If you put this up here, we'll just turn it around. You're just gonna see the yolk up there. See the yolk color? I don't know if it comes through on the camera. So basically all this one is still has a yolk in it. That's all that's in it. So this one is not a fertilized egg. So we'll take this one out and we'll just do a couple more so you can see take another one out here and we'll look and if you can see that one's fertilized there's a little baby chick growing in it i'll put that one in there take another one out if you can see baby chick growing in there and so and we'll do one more so you can see it if you can see there baby chick growing in there so that's how you candle your eggs okay it is day 17 and what we're gonna do is I can grab that top we're gonna take these out of the turner and one of these already broke open while it was in here so we lost another one so we have 16 out of the 18 Still looking good. I'm just taking them out of here for a minute. I'm going to put them back in as soon as I get this <coughs> turner out because we don't want them to turn anymore because they're going to be hatching. They can hatch pretty much any day. So I'm going to be careful with them. There's okay, so what we'll do is let's unplug this. All right, I want, we're going to try to get something on tape that's pretty neat. We could hear chicks chirping in here inside their eggs. yeah inside the eggs so see if we can get it to... there's one with a crack in it yeah there's one over here with a crack in it oh let me turn this off see how many of these are cracking now <laughs> I wonder which one it is. I don't know, that's awesome. <laughs> you hear them chirping in the eggs. Eggs movie. Yeah. How fun.
We got the coop ready for the little ones and as you can see in here we only have three that made it three little chicks so we're going to kiddos are going to put them in their new coop so go ahead guys One carefully carefully don't drop All the way down. Okay. You drop it, Bob. okay Bob set it down carefully <laughs> Guys, watch out so we can <laughs> keep them in there. There they are in their new home. Aww, so little in their new <laughs> They're home. tiny. Hi, guys. How old are they? Three days? Yeah, three days. They're three days old. Freshly hatched. <clears throat> Look at that huge scoop on themselves. <laughs> so we put two lamps on them so they'll be nice and toasty. Did you guys like hatching eggs? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite thing? What's that noise? Yeah, that, noise. <laughs> that chicken has food all right. All right. Well, there we go. Our first time with the incubator. Three out of 18. <laughs> well, only 16 of them were fertile, but. So three out of 16 lived. That's okay. All right. Well, there's our Easter eggers.